Welcome to another morning devotional time. We've shifted now to the book of Jeremiah the prophet, one of the longest books in the Old Testament. So we're going to be looking at this book for devotional purposes. Jeremiah's book covers the period from about 627 B.C. down to about 586 B.C. or so. And he covers the period of four different kings. King Josiah, King Jehoahaz, Jehoiakim, and of course Zedekiah at the end. So he's got to deal with four of these kings that are in a pretty rough geopolitical situation. But he's going to call the nation into to strong repentance, uh, strong reform, because it's it's kind of a last ditch effort uh, before the kingdom the kingdom's sliding into a terrible place morally, and it's just rapidly coming to pieces. So God calls Jeremiah. Let's read it, verses one to three today. A little bit more informational than the other days. The words of Jeremiah the son of Hilkiah of the priests who were in Anathoth in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah son of Amon king of Judah. In the thirteenth year of his reign, it also came in the days of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, until the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, until the carrying away of Jerusalem captive in the fifth month. So there in the summary, you can sort of see how this is going to end. This is going to be rough going, but I think there's going to be a lot of lessons, spiritual lessons here for us, just the same. We can't make a direct, a direct connection at all between Israel and our own nation, whatever nation you're in, but there's still going to be some strong spiritual lessons here. Now, one thing that I thought was uh, worth looking at here at the beginning is, notice what it says at verse 2. These are the words of Jeremiah, Jeremiah is the prophet, to whom the word, verse 2, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of so-and-so, all the kings that are listed there. So, notice here that we have this very interesting uh, balance. It is the word of Jeremiah. It has Jeremiah in it, but it's also the word of the Lord. And this is what we found back when we were studying over there in uh, First Thessalonians. He, J Paul, praised the Thessalonians because they received the word from him, Paul, as what it was in truth. He said the word of God. So whenever there is somebody who's called to be a prophet, yes, in a sense, it is that prophet's words. We believe that. God, the Holy Spirit gives the inspired thoughts, and then the prophet, the prophet is going to put it in their own words, and yet the Holy Spirit will still uh, influence the prophet so that those words are accurate. So the word, it is the word to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, and so on. So when the word of the Lord comes, our part is to what? To listen. So we want to be in close attention when God sends a word. We want to hear the word from the prophet, and the Lord will prosper us as we hear his word. If we don't hear it, if we avoid reform, if we don't allow Jesus to have our heart, disaster is the only, uh, the only outcome, catastrophic outcomes. And we're going to see some, some pretty rough things as we look at this book. But let's do it. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, today we are starting up uh, here a new book. We just pray you'll be our leader, you'll be our guide, that your Holy Spirit will help us uh, to understand as we begin to crack into this book. We want to draw the spiritual lessons from it. We want to hear the words of your servant and respond in the way that's rightly applicable, applicable to ourselves. Bless, we pray, Lord, as we look at this time when the nation's in a terrible, terrible spiritual decline and there's an urgent need to return to you. Certainly, we urgently need to return to you today. Bless us, we pray, and be our guide as we look at your word. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. So God be with you today, and take a look as we look at chapter one as we carry on in our study, book of Jeremiah the prophet. 